Now we've shown a little boy who is about to eat a candy bar. You can clearly see that the bar is divided into three segments, which is here to help you remember that the RNA structure is divided into three segments. If you look outside, you can see a tree to the left which says Arbol. This is our symbol for arboviruses and is here to help you remember that California encephalitis is an arbovirus. More specifically, it's transmitted by mosquitoes. So notice that we've shown a pesky mosquito inside of this car that's about to bite this little boy. Okay, if we turn our attention towards the front of the vehicle, notice that we've included a map of the United States. This is the family's GPS, and they drove to California from the East Coast, so we can see the central and eastern parts of the U.S. highlighted. This is to help you remember that California encephalitis is common in the central and eastern parts of the U.S. This may seem counterintuitive to you because, after all, the virus is named California encephalitis. However, the virus was just discovered in California, which is how it got its name, but is actually more common in the central and eastern parts of the United States. Okay, for the last part of the image, notice that we've shown a boy sticking his head out of the window and getting rained on. The head covered in water is our symbol for encephalitis. So this was included in the image to help you remember that this virus causes encephalitis. Hopefully this isn't too surprising considering that the name is California encephalitis.